welcome back. Today I'm going to make a simple and easy recipe and it's cherry truffles. Okay, Valentine's is just a few days away. So this is the best time for all the lovebirds. <laughs> make your Valentine's dessert for your loved ones. All right, so I have all my ingredients here. This is the star of the show. Maashino cherries, 26 grams of sugar, 26 grams of unsalted butter, 70 milliliter of whipping cream, 114 grams of dark chocolate chips, and for the coating, 170 grams of dark chocolate chips and also 22 grams of shortening. And my cherries, I just cut them in half, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add my whipping cream. I'm going to add in my sugar. Also, I'm going to add in my butter. So now move on to the next step. So I have my cream, my sugar, and my butter on my stove do not hesitate to subscribe like make a comment and share and please remember to turn on all notification bell that when i upload a new video you is the first one to get notified okay i'm just going to add in my chips and let it melt i'm just going to stir Okay, so now I'm going to add in my cherries. And you just want to incorporate it, okay? Wow! <laughs> I know I'm going to enjoy these truffles. Guys, you could use... You could even use dry cherries if you want to, okay? I'm just going to pour it. Out. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a piece of wrap on it. Okay, I'm just going to let it stay at room temperature until it cool. I'm going to let it chill for at least two to three hours. Okay, and I will be back. Okay, now we're going to go to the next step. I let my chocolate chill for at least three hours and I have my tray here with my mat this is now it's going to get messy you want to wear a gloves if you do not want to wear a glove then that's fine and I'm going to use this scoop this is about two ounces if you do not have any scoop then you could use one tablespoon or a melon baller okay depends on the size you want so I'm going to put it down first before I roll it okay so now it's time to roll please make sure your cherries is drained properly and you just dry it with paper towel okay So now I'm going to put it back into the refrigerator and let it chill for at least an hour. So the next step is I'm going to coat it. Okay, so see you in about an hour. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Now I'm going to make the coating for my cherry truffles. All right, so I have some water here in this pot I want it to simmer so I'm going to add I'm going to put the bowl on top of the pot okay so now I'm going to do a double boiler method so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to add in the shortening in the bowl and also the chocolate 
Okay, so now my top it is melt. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just going to dip it in the chocolate. And we just use the fork to take it out. Okay, so now I'm going to put them back in the refrigerator and let them chill. So maybe like about 20 minutes. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, so I just melt some white chocolate and I put it in my piping bag. So I'm just going to do a few with white chocolate. We just drizzle it over. All right. And you could also do this on a cooling rock. And also, I have icing sugar. All right, so I'm just going to put roll few also in white, in icing sugar. And I'm also going to roll few in cocoa powder and I'm going to leave I'm going to leave three plain so you have your cherry truffles to your liking so my people here is my nice and delicious and easy and simple cherry truffles, all right? Easy and simple in my kitchen. Please do not hesitate to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now and hit all notification bell. That's when I upload a new video, you're the first one to get notified, all right? Like, make a comment and share. So from my kitchen to yours, have a blessed day. One love. Bye.